right, so today we're going to work on an exercise using an inverted paradiddle. So use just straight 16th notes, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a... Okay, now we're going to place the accent on one, and after that, it will be on all of the upbeat, all of the fourth partial of every beat. So, you take that exercise and you put it up to speed. It seems easy, but the problem is you have to feel the downbeat when you're hitting the last partial, the 16th note, the last 16th note partial of every beat. So. Okay. And then you take that exercise and you just move it around the drums. Then you play it faster. And even faster if you're playing a solo. You can work on it in many, many, many different ways. You can sit down for hours with that exercise. You can play it crashing on the cymbals, just playing it on the toms, breaking it up, uh, just displacing things like instead of... Now, my suggestion is when you're playing the exercise, at least in the beginning, to play accenting the downbeat with either your hat or your kick drum because then you can still feel the pulse of the downbeat. <laughs> All right, so so now when you don't play it with your kick and you uh, just play it with your hat, it's it's really important to 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 accent the downbeat, especially in the beginning, so that it will take you a while to feel it, to actually get get it to where you feel the downbeat, even when you're displacing the the upbeat partial uh, from the uh. So.
hope you got something out of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the only reason why I'm doing this instructional thing. Uh, these are things that I've been working on for a long time and uh, have, have picked up from many different people along the way. And this one was picked up by a trumpet player. And um, he was a good trumpet player, but that is one of the most useful things that I've used throughout my years of playing. So I hope you appreciated the video. Like, subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.